Hi guys, it's T-Bone Pearson here. I am working on some After Effects shots for our web series called Super Kids. And we've got two shots sort of meshed together here. Um, so I had the, the Super Kids land. Uh, which layer is that? That's them landing. Okay, so that should stop the kids from flying in and landing. That's a different shot. Oh, there's the butterfly wings. Let's get rid of those. So I'm down here in the left-hand corner. Uh, I know you guys, some of you guys like this behind-the-scenes stuff, so I thought I would show you what I'm up to today. Uh, yeah, so let's turn off the butterfly wings here. And let's get rid of what? I've got like a dust layer when the kids landed. See right there? Uh, let's get rid of that because what I've done is I've copied and pasted this goblin shot. Let's make sure this is the layer. Hit the eyeball tool. Back, boy, back. Okay, so I've soloed it, meaning I'm only certain layers are being shown. See that little circle there? Let's go to effect controls and turn this off so you can see what the original footage looks like. This is what I'm dealing with. So if you look at the goblin, he's green. And the green screen back here is green. So if I were to delete the green, he would disappear to some degree. Uh, so what we did was uh, we stitched together a blue, went to the fabric store and picked up some blue uh, material and stitched it together. Probably in the future, I'll buy one of these stretchy green screens that is blue, just to make things easier. Uh, so we had Julie puppeteering, and she's got blue, but one of, oh, I hear a kid cry in the background. Uh, so one of the commenters on YouTube uh, asked, you know, how do you get rid of uh, where the person uh, hits the goblin here? And how that works is, um, Sophs, can you close my door, please? Thank you. Sophs, close the door. Thanks. You're all good. It's all good. Close the door. That's fine. That's fine. You're fine. Close the door. Thanks. Okay, sorry about that interruption. So we've got, uh, how do you get rid of Julie here? Obviously, when you turn on the key light, which uh, deletes the blue, like so, I just eye drop tooled the blue, played around with the settings in here, um, and got rid of the blue. So now, I've already done some of the work, I believe. So let's just look here. We'll click down here. And do I have any masks on here at all? I haven't done any masks. Okay, so I guess I just started the shot. That's right, man. Okay, so let's grab the pen tool and zoom in. And we're going to, I thought I did some of this. We're just basically gonna cut this out. It's called rotoscoping. And Greg the Gregster uh, asked about it. So I thought I would show him. I'm just gonna make this a little bit more raggedy here like that and just go around like this and now she'll be left so we have to invert the mask and then we have to record the mask all of our moves so I'm gonna hit this little record button and then turn it to none just so I can see everything and we'll, we'll subtract that later so we will um, go to we'll go alt Control B, that'll set the um, sort of timeline to how long our clip is. And let's go to the end of this and then move this. Now you can change the color of these masks. So let's make it something more easier to see. So we'll go to green and click the mask and that's, let's go red. You gotta go red, it's so easy to see. All right, red is, should, there we go way easier to see and you basically you can grab the whole thing here and move it like so that's the quickest way to do it uh, i'm just gonna move this down a bit here we're, we're gonna feather the mask by three pixels and now we'll have to cut this part off too but i'm happy now let's split the difference and go right in the middle and let's double click and bring the whole mask over now you can individually move these uh, little dots whenever you want. So let's zoom in a bit, split the difference again, and let's just grab this. This is time consuming, guys, so 
you want to nail everything when you shoot, but again, nothing's perfect. And it's more important just to get the shot, get the performance, because you can always go in here and take your time and see, that doesn't look too bad. Let's delete it, subtract, and have a, oh, we're gonna add, there we go. So let's have a look. And let's set this, instead of full, let's make it easier on the computer, we'll go to half. And then let's just check it out. So now it's gonna preview. And we should probably save, just in case it crashes. Otherwise you're gonna lose your work. Okay, it's not so bad, if there's some work. Now you just sort of adjust the mask. You just sort of fine tune it until Julie's face is gone. And the same thing with the kids down here. I'll quickly show you that. Let's grab this pen tool and we will just grab from about here and just go around. Now I guess we need to get rid of all this too. So let's just go all the way around like this. And down over to here and then we will subtract. And then let's record the mask so if we do moves it the computer will remember. Let's turn it to none so we can actually see our work. And let's go to the end of the clip. I know there's a hot key for that. Does anyone know that? Comment below if you know the hot key to go to the end of the clip. I forget what it is. I'll just manually do it and just move this over here and then the, the computer tweens between our settings so we'll go in the middle and see where we're at needs a little fine tuning i'm busy thanks we'll talk in a sec all right sorry about that there's some children fighting out there and they want to discuss their side of the story but i need to do some work all right, so uh, roughly going. Now this poll may be an issue, but maybe I can put a blur over it so people people don't look at it. Let's subtract. All right, so the goblin is, again, you've got to go through and fine tune it. Um, but let's get rid of this here. You guys know this by now, go to the pen tool and we're just gonna draw a line. Oh, now that made a shape layer. So let's control Z. And then we want to click the layer. Sometimes that'll happen. It'll start making a shape layer, which is what you, you do not want that. You want to, now hopefully we haven't done a shape layer again, but we're just going to draw around this and then hit the record button. And this will be a different mask. It'll be mask three. Let's hit the record button, basically that there. And we will say none, so we can actually see. Let's go to the first of the clip. I'm just grabbing it over here, and that's actually not half bad. We'll just leave. We'll just hit it to make a keyframe. Split the difference in the middle. This whole thing's got to come over, so I'm just grab the pointer tool, bring it over here like so, and let's go to the end of the clip, and that could work as well. So let's go to subtract. And we want to feather all these layers so they look a little bit more natural. So we'll go to three minute, three pixels. Three pixels. Are they all three? Good, 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 good. Now there's some trouble right here. So let's see, maybe we'll fix that with the top layer. No, we'll just use this bottom one. Let's bring it up like that. We'll overlap. All good. Again, you're going to go through. Now there's an arm here after you get rid of. And also over here, we'll just get rid of M's here. We will hit the pen tool and get rid of all this garbage stuff. A lot of times it's called a garbage mat when you're just getting rid of stuff, like you're just making a big... Um, we, we're gonna use this one also to zoom in and get rid of this rod that was using, moving the puppet. It's the puppet's hand. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so we're just gonna chop all this off like so, and go down to our new mask and hit the record button so everything's recorded and subtract, see what happens. Good. So let's just see. Uh, let's quickly go to none. All right. And let's go to the front of this clip. And let's just move this. 
So this can record the move, and then it's slowly going to move it to your second point. But let's split the difference. And we will get rid of this here. And then let's have a preview of it and see how it works. Go to, instead of none, we're going to go to subtract. Like so. We should probably put a feather on it, but for now it's fine. And the reason I brought him in here is because I already have the background sort of built out of photos. And we'll just have a quick look at this. And so that's how you do it. Now there has to be one more mask in here and then you have to fine tune all of these so the audience doesn't notice that you uh, cut portions of the video out. There's something weird here. Oh, that's just smoke. Um, so there you go. That's probably like 80% of it. And then it's just uh, going in fine tuning. It's a lot of hard work. Um, the better lit your green screens are, the better, the faster this goes, but sometimes it's all about just getting the performance. And right, Goblin? And let's look at it in full resolution. And then I will get to work because that'll be boring to just zoom in and fine tune everything. Right, there's, there's work here we've got to do. This, you know, portion of the crown has to be fixed down here. The stuff's not bad at all. Um, and there you go. There's a sneak peek. Uh, there's a behind the scenes peek at what I'm up to right now. Please comment below. It's nice to have, uh, you know, people following along at home. This part can be a little lonely sitting in front of a computer in a thunderstorm. I don't know if you guys could hear that in the background, but, uh, it's a little, um, mind numbing at times. So I'll put on some music or a podcast. Um, but there we go. There's the shot. Please like, subscribe, comment, follow, whatever you can do. Uh, but uh, please say hi in the comments. And uh, thanks, Greg the Gregster, for uh, the question about how I was going to get rid of uh, Julie out of that shot. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.